What's up everyone, welcome back. Today I wanna to show you guys a quick little bar chord backup that you can use on the banjo. It's real easy to adapt to any key, and you know what? It makes playing those slow songs on the banjo just a little bit less painful. You know, those slow songs, you got three fingers all wanting to get in there and get a piece of the action, and there's just not enough going in there for them. So, you know, on banjo, those slow songs, sometimes they can just be pretty painful for you. So, in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a quick little backup that goes well with three, four timing or four, four timing. Now you have to sort of change the picking pattern a little bit to fit the timing, but that being said, this is a backup pattern and this is a sound that goes really well with medium and slow paced songs. So we'll go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and play it for you and let you hear what it sounds like. And I'm gonna go through a G, C, and D chord sequence, okay? Starting in G, based off a bar chord, so we're gonna take the G bar chord position. Now you can step this up and it becomes real peppy. So you go. All right, so you can do that. You might hear something like that in a song by the Country Gentleman, like Two Little Boys. Or something a little slower, like I'll Just Pretend by Flat and Scruggs. We'll go ahead and drop it down to the key of D. And it goes something a little like this. And once again, just starting from our D bar chord. So. You spurned the love I gave you, darling. A love you once were proud to own. You found someone whom you love better. And in my dreams, I alone. I'm no singer. That gives you an idea of kind of what it sounds like with some music and accompaniment. Now how this, how you go about doing this is you're just using the two bottom strings and we're just catching the two bottom notes of the bar chord, whatever chord we're in. So out of the key of G, okay, out of the key of G, we're just going to catch the two bottom strings. We're going to go and you can come in Depending on what finger you want to use, sometimes I'll do it like this and catch each note individually, depending on what I'm trying to do with it, and sometimes I'll just catch a bar chord with my finger. So what's most important is that we're getting the two bottom notes of the bar chord, and then we come up two frets and then three frets on the bottom string. So it's something like this. Now here's what the picking pattern sounds like. And then we just start bringing these fingers in here and go. And that's a G. If we want to take it up to a C, we just go up to a C bar chord. Once you get your basic rhythm down with the picking, feel free to have a little bit of fun with it. So you might take it, instead of just going up to a seventh, you might go up to the, to the major, the next root up. So instead of going, you might do something like, or you might diminish it, you might go, Okay, and use that as a way to just sort of get a little bit of get a little bit of emotion going on in the song there by diminishing the chord a little bit. There are all kinds of things you can do with this. But have some fun with it. It's a really easy little lick to use. You can even double up on the picking if it's a real slow backup. So if it's like double up on it. So it's like Okay, just have a little bit of fun with it. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video and you found it helpful and you learned a little something from it. If you did, please be sure to leave it a like down below. And if you wanna see more videos like this from me, subscribe, I'm gonna be doing more videos like this in the future. Hope you've enjoyed it, like I said. Have a good one guys, later.